Okay, so I just pulled up at my local film developer called Negative Film Lab, and the owner, man, is letting me borrow my first medium format camera. So let's go check it out, I'm super hyped. Negative Film Lab in Chiang Mai has got it all. It's my go-to place for buying film and developing. They've got a solid selection of secondhand cameras and loads of 35 millimeter film. But today, I'm here to borrow this, the Roloflex 3.5 medium format camera. The owner found out that I've never shot a medium format camera and loaned me this to try out. It has a 75 millimeter lens and shoots 120 film. I decided to try black and white first and went with the Ilford XB2 400. The staff helped me load the camera with film navigate my way around the settings if, if stop and pitch up got it got it ah. and i was on my way do it for a uh, more detail for focus okay yeah. ready now you have single lens you need medium medium bye bye come on ka let's go with the Rolleiflex in hand, my girlfriend Sydney and I hit the road for about an hour and a half toward the countryside town of Changdao, a quiet, mountainous, and photogenic region perfect for shooting a roll of medium format film. As soon as we arrived, we chilled out at Hoklong Cafe, a small local cafe with delicious coffee. One of our favorite cafes in Thailand. A little bit about medium format film. You can typically shoot around 8 to 32 exposures. With my roll, I got 12 shots total, so each shot had to count. Okay, so this is the first shot with the Roloflex. I'm gonna unlock it. So now it's ready to go. For my first shot, I set up a small still life with some flowers, coffee, and my 35 millimeter Konica camera. I used a free app to help me get the correct exposure settings. Once I got the settings, I held my breath and took a shot. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my first shot, minus the slight motion blur. I think that was it. Very anticlimactic little click. Feeling satisfied, I advanced the film and we hit the road to find our accommodation. <laughs> Our bamboo homestay was more than we could have ever asked for. A small single room bungalow right on the doorstep of Doi Chang Dao Mountain. The weather was perfect, our room was cozy, and the farm animals made us feel right at home. Sid and I settled in, and it wasn't long before I had to snap a few photographs with the Roloflex. The next morning I woke up at sunrise before Sid to catch first light. A twin lens reflex camera like the Roloflex has a waist level viewfinder, so I had to look down while framing and focusing. This is definitely the most challenging aspect of the camera. I found it much easier to sit down while shooting to keep the camera nice and steady. Once Sid woke up, it was time for some coffee. We set up our jet boil and brewed up some hawk long instant coffee and enjoyed the countryside morning. Sid then had a go at shooting with the Roloflex. Her first shot was awesome. She too found the waist level viewfinder to be a little challenging. After a bit of banana cake for breakfast, we went to go play with the goats and relax a little. One of my favorite aspects of shooting with the Roloflex is finding quiet moments like this. I enjoyed taking as much time as I'd like to frame and focus the photo. This format really slows you down in the best of ways. After slowly making our way out, we said our goodbyes and then headed out towards a cafe that was recommended to us for its stunning view. It 
If you ever make it to Changdao, you must come to Chongong Slow Bar. The mountainous views are incredible, the coffee is tasty, and it's a great spot for photography and cafe enthusiasts. Sid looks so cool sitting in the window and I had to capture the moment. Medium format images like this truly blow me away. When we got this role developed, I actually couldn't believe I was the one that took this photograph. The detail, resolution, and contrast are unlike any 35mm film I've shot. Everything feels bigger and more aesthetically dramatic. After hanging out for a while, I headed out solo to snap a few more. I drove closer towards the mountain and found a quiet Buddhist temple with a beautiful archway at its entrance. I got off my motorbike and framed the mountain range between the arch. I drove a little further and stumbled upon a massive Buddha statue that I thought would look nice on a larger film format. My legs killed from walking up all the steps, but I enjoyed composing the Buddha up close to make him look bigger. With daylight running out, I went back to the cafe to scoop Sid and get our last two photos. For our 11th photo, we visited the famous Instagram road called Giant Trees Alley. Here we found a tunnel of trees where many tourists stopped to take photos. Sid took one too. For our 12th and final shot, we found a small dirt turnoff with a great view of the mountain. One last time, Sid grabbed the Rolleiflex and took this super cool portrait. With the roll completed, we headed home. Changdao turned out to be the perfect location for trying out medium format film for the first time. We couldn't wait to drop our film off and see the results, so we drove straight to the lab. The whole ride back, we chatted about how much fun we had together while shooting the Rolleiflex. Overall, I'm a huge fan of medium format, and I think every photographer should have at least one experience using a waist-level viewfinder. It's a unique way to see things, and I love seeing the world this way. While 120 film and developing is a little expensive, the learning curve isn't huge, and the detail and resolution you can get is absolutely stunning. For any photographer out there, if you can get your hands on a medium format camera, I highly suggest you try one out. A huge thank you goes out to Negative Film Lab, and thank you so much for watching.